Well, that man, Robbie Farah, he's made a great start the season as the Eels make their way onto the field here. Look, it is a, a massive occasion, but there's two points up for grabs. They've got to remember that, the players. This is the moment. They'll come out in groups. The Parramatta Eels at Bankwest Stadium, their new home. It's a new era indeed. We can't get you any closer than that on Fox League. You've run out with them. The flags, the flags. Is it? Is it 81 Grand Final Day again? The merchandise sellers have done well today. King Guffo had the honour of being first man out for Parramatta. Some of the greats are out there as well. Peter Wynn shaking hands with the players. Brett Kenny. Eric Groth, Ray Price, whose statue is at the back of the main entrance. I think Ray is threatened, Brad. I, I think he would have said, I played with your father, Brad. I played with Louis Takarangi. What a player Ray Price was. Dennis Fitzgerald there, Ray Higgs, Jeff Gerrard, among others. Peter Sterling, Michael Cronin. Boy, oh boy, you'd need the salary cap sombrero to fit them all in now. I mean, this, this is enormous. It's great. It's great. As I said before the game, we're talking to Bonnie. It's a really big job on the likes of Moses and Brooks and Farrah to keep their sides under control. Not to play sideline to sideline, get away from the game plan and the excitement. It's tricky, Brandon. These sort of games are tricky early on. Well, they are, because you've got to keep your head, Matt. And as we just spoke about the occasion that it is, the, the brand new opening of the Eels home ground. And you've got to remember that there's two points up for grabs and there's a job to do on the field. The, the Tigers, for mine, their season's been built on the back of defence and control. They've controlled the football and the, their defence has been outstanding. And the way they turn up for each other, their scramble's been great. No Blake Ferguson for the Eels, so they'll be looking for someone to lead them out of the backfield. It's 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 a tough one to pick. It really is. It's a tough one to pick. Both clubs have won three out of their five games. The, the Raiders beat the Eels comfortably last week. They want to atone for the, the performance, but they, they fix their ball control up. I think it goes a long way to fixing that. So we're in for an absolute cracking match here this afternoon. I do have to draw on your experience, fellas, collectively playing in front of big crowds noise and all the rest I mean how how the dickens do you, do you shut that out when you're trying to get instructions to teammates and the like and hearing referee as well well it has a similar feel when you play at Suncorp at origin time you've got to make sure that you've done the prep if you haven't prepared you get found out it'll definitely uh, have a big emphasis on on their partnerships obviously the halves have got to make sure they they're dominant their dominant calls they're loud uh, and the whole pre-season not only the first five games of, of the year but also that pre-season getting to know the bloke next to you make, having that trust trust and belief in each other comes really into play when you've got a big crowd and you can't hear the guy next to you during the game and i reckon brace the really big thing when you've got the football early on do less do less don't try to do too much don't push it east west play more north south if you want to pour some energy in do it defensively you can't win the game in the first 20 minutes but uh, you can lose it this is it three years in the making My rugby league at bankwest stadium is gone tigers off the boot of brooks Big cheer around the ground here from both sets of fans. And it is Alvaro who crashes the ball up for the first run of the game. And is slow back to his feet. He's been rocked by the tackle and he's crashed to the turf. Well, the best laid plans. He would have been dreaming of this moment all off season, being part of the occasion and first run. Look what has happened. Just dropped fractionally, didn't he, as he braced himself for the contact. It was a Ryan Madison from the edge that came in. And the shoulder made contact with the, the chin of Alvaro. That's 
That's, that's it, mate. Well, sees him in a bit of trouble. Well, yeah. look, if we're if we're following precedent from previous weeks, if Alvaro's off the field, they've already confirmed high contact. Madison goes to the sin bin, yeah. doesn't he? Yes, he does. Okay. Which is a sensation. Now, this is This is huge for Parramatta. Losing Ferguson now, possibly Alvaro. They're ask, asking the question. Gutherson has gone up to the referee. Takarangi has also run in as well and asked the referee about Ryan Madison. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it, we're going anywhere, mate. It may be the last we see of Alvaro this afternoon, sadly. Nah, that's, that's not how it works, Clint. Well, that's what we got to He's gone for an assessment, mate. That's not how it works. Well, Alvaro leaves the playing arena and rushing on is Hold Timmy Manor. Hold to the foot. For game 229 of his Eels career, he gets on after just seconds. Parramatta inside the Tigers half. And uh, Moses with it has lifted up and driven back. Lovely reception there, 40 metres out from the line. Impressive. Garner involved in the Luke tackle, Jr. big improver this season. Now Marty, chance with the Eels, 25 metres out. Gutherson got away from Reynolds. The first up, attempt. Reynolds missed plenty last week against Brisbane. But he's always there trying. There could be a try within minutes at the new stadium. Parramatta, Moses with a kick. Takaragi is close, it's lodged there. They may claim a try, the referee says no. Fill the play, go on. There you go. Go on. Go on, drop out. And Eels fans down that southern end, they were starting to cheer. Well, it was up for grabs. Mitchell well, Moses, tricky little kick there to get it right, but just lobbed it onto the try on line, the clock, and boys. it was... Was it Brooks that it came was. up with the football? Did a great job because Takarangi was all over him. Big right, man Takarangi, and he actually stole it out of his arm. They've changed Patrick the call. Takarangi touches it. There you go. On the replay, the rule that Takarangi did Not get yet. a hand to right, it, right. so it's a knock on oh. in goal. And the Tigers get a 20 metre restart as a result. That, that was in, an impressive set by the Eels, though. Oh, Penny Terrapo, Junior Paul, a couple of good runs. Help. Gutherson worried. Oh. Josh Reynolds down that left-hand side. Impressive Alex Twole there back over the 40-metre line. You talk about improvers. He's up Hands there away, in Junior. that category as well. Work rate right, very high for Gun the Tigers line. this season. Farrah going short on that edge to Madison. Sean, Five metres away. inside the Eels half. It settles oh. down for the Tigers. Farrah sends them right. Reynolds on a bit of an angle. The mullet. Mahe is there with the ball for Nua. 29 away from the line. And again, Reynolds settles things. Brooks brings in by in, and along it comes with Masters. We know uh, that they can offload Jennings, it was, that was held. Now Brooks and Farrah delivering short that time, and perhaps out the back was the way to go. Last tackle it is. Farrah to Brooks. He'll test them out with a kick. He turns them around and halfback to halfback. Moses made a play at it, but Parramatta to have the 20 metre restart. Hold 10, mate. Hold 10. Did a good job, Mitchell Moses, not to get a, a touch on it. He did a fantastic job because that ball didn't look like it was sitting in the end goal. So for Moses to be able to. Just shepherd that across the dead ball line. Great bonus there for the Eels to get the 20 metre start and the seven tackle set. Andy, you can't give away seven tackle sets. If you're in our real halfback, you've got to get it in the end goal. Terrapo, fearless in that charge into the Tigers line. So Terrapo starts, Moyaroa on the bench again for Parramatta. And that now Lane, it's ended up in the hands of Vasivo. He's going to be called back. Parramatta think they've got the first try. Well, some do. You got the first disallowed try at 
Bankwest Stadium. Yeah, no, it's a knock on to the left hand side from Seven, who is out the back of the Sean Lane Pass, who has been really impressive for the Parramatta Eels on that left hand edge for the majority of the season. And again, threatening, but the pass was behind Salmon. Wasn't out in front. You'll see he goes right in the defensive line. Jennings runs the block play and just the execution there. And that has gone forward. Sebo is in open space, but still threatening, still looking dangerous. And a nice set of six again from Parramatta. Let's get down to the sideline. Andy Raymond and uh, we wait on news on Daniel Alvaro. A little early for that, but uh, how are you feeling? How are you taking it in down there on the sideline? Oh, it's a rugby league tragic. I am in heaven. So too, Vossi, are the fullbacks. I spoke to Moses Embai and Clint Gutherson after warm-up or after catching practice. No wind whatsoever. Now, that was one of the considerations when building this joint, to make the elements as, as small as possible. Rain, wind, etc. Wonderful surface. Lightning quick, but the ball went kicking. Just a little slow off the foot. Pretty good defence, Andy, and all of that from Parramatta. And Farah kicks out of dummy half as Gutherson going back to the corner. Perfectly weighted by Farah. A wall of Tigers in the corner. Well, he had to get the ground as quickly as possible, too. Only at two metres out from the try line. Could have easily been dragged back. Got some tough work to do now, the Eels. This is where you really miss Mike Ferguson. He would take one of the first... Two or three carries. Three, now Moses takes them down the right side. Iacore has played every minute for them this year and a knock on Parramatta. Moses, more haste, less speed, one could say. Yeah, a little too enthusiastic there for Mitch Moses. And Iacore, beautiful run down the short side. Got a quick play the ball and the eyes lit up. Moses saw the space. Oh, he just couldn't pick it up cleanly. Yep. The, the back of his foot was still on the on the, Sean, the ball. Sean, Near Corey just on the ground, hadn't mate. cleared the ruck okay. when Moses tried to pick that up. Then. Oh, nice to have Matty Johns back in the commentary back. box today too. He, yeah, long time he's standing. He's very toey. I've got to tell our viewers, he's he's loving it. If that's the right turn of phrase. Then, <laughs> <laughs> Brooks with it now from the scrum. And the collision there of bodies. Salmon hit the deck. So too Masters. But this is a big opportunity for the Tigers. 20 metres away from the Eels line. Will it be a, a Tiger to get the first try? Up now! Marana! Junior, hold! And the to play at 20. Inside that 20 of Parramatta. Brooks goes short, Madison. Salmon really good low down there. Lane over the top. Farrah back for Brooks. Out in front of Allier. Some of the crowd think forward Last as a result. Tackle, it wasn't Marcus all that slick Schreier. from the Tigers. Last tackle. Oh, Farrah with it. Brooks will set it up again. This time they run it. Moses and mine. One of the Parramatta defenders. It was Moses who ended up on the ground. I think Jennings bowled him over. Hold here, Alex. No, you're right. If, if, that had, if the Tigers had have scored off that play, it would have been pulled up. Jennings just skittling Mitchell Moses. Yeah, Manor fans would argue, well, why not give us the penalty anyway? Penalty after try not scored, but they're away now. And Nia Kore found himself on the right wing. He has been hammered in the tackle. And now there's more troubles for Parramatta. Just have the third man who came in here. He's a clever player, Takarangi. Sure is. That's a great ball from, just comes, from the centre. Gets a shoulder. No. Yep. The damage was done off on, on the hip of Moses Embo, I would say, just as he dropped down as he was falling. Matty, he's just picked up the, yeah, the hip has. of Moses Embo. So, Elvaro off already. And... Uh, Doubts about him Final returning. Two. Now Lee Yukore there, Tepai Moyaroa close by, oh, and he will come on as well. HIA for Lee Yukore now. He can take a seat down next to Daniel. Parramatta with the ball. Moses, centre field, four mana. 
Move past Peter Sterling on the all-time oh, games oh, list this go, year. Go. Go three. And now Marty will take off. What a day for this young fella. As game as they come. Now for Moses. Straight on to Moyoroa. Tigers having to aim up in defence. Tackle number five. Takarangi for Moses. Kick underneath the crossbar. Beautifully scooped up by Reynolds, who in turn has cleaned up. But it was all done at fast speed. The kick was perfect. The take was perfect. The tackle was awesome. Really good tackle here from Terrapo. Mitchell Moses' kicking game in 2019 has gone to another level. He's been superb with these little kicks, but the chase, Terrapo, beautiful tackle. It looked like for all money, they were going to get out of their own in goal area, Reynolds and the West Tigers. Great big dramas here. Robbie Farrar coming from the field for the Tigers. He looks sick and sorry. Uh, they're, they're signaling HIA now for Robbie Farrar as well. That makes three off the field, two eels, one tiger. And Michael Cheekham, the super sub, and will come on the field. And just have a look at the shoveling. Corey Thompson's moved into his like fullback, and I think Moses and Boy. Yeah. Looks like he's moved into dummy half. So line drop out with the Tigers and Brooks. Almost finding that sideline, Sean Lane. Been good value for Parramatta. But he's uh, fourth Hedge NRL Hedge club. Hedge we still wait that first try at Bankwest Stadium. Paulo with the ball. No bigger body out there than Paulo. If then away, Marnie, Moses on with Terrapo. He'll bring the house down if he scores. He's on a 70 game drought. Benny Terrapo. Marnie, shots on Gutherson. Moira. Tigers get numbers, they needed a cheek cam there. Jennings there to make the tackle. And now they'll go short side. Oh, they've got it forward. Josh Hoffman thought he had the try with a leap and a put down and they've called it forward. Gee, it was clever stuff from Reed Marnie. Threw the dummy, couldn't get a, a regular pass to the man that was in the clear. Just lobbed it over the top, basketball style. Oh. Yeah, I don't, yeah. you know, they're right there to make the call, but very clever from the, the Eels number nine. Unlucky. Well, it didn't need to be forward. It, 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 it was just the execution. I mean, he had time to get that pass backwards. Smart play for Marnie down the short side. Oh, again, the defence of Parramatta. There is some starch about their work this afternoon. This is interesting, Bossy. As we said before, Moses and by into Good nine. Team. Coming out of dummy Hold half. Go, two. Might be a good thing, Matty, get his I hands on the ball. Get him into the game. Boy, he could be dangerous oh, out of yeah. there. He could be brilliant, Brandy. Tim, straight what away. the coaches have to contend with. Brad Arthur's got two off the field early. Now Maguire's had to make a big restructure, Let's redeployment of his captain Let's and go. fullback. Go Quick play, the ball, Packer, nicely done. There it and is. here it is, Moses and by oh, takes a way. shot. Makes 10. Last, last tackle, Tigers. Back. Chance to run it. Reynolds okay, decides mate. to kick. And intercepted at the back by Gutherson. Good pace to the game as well. Just a couple of times there in the first half, or well, the first 20 minutes of the football game, they've missed opportunity the Tigers. They've seen uh, Junior Polo's been caught three in, and they haven't taken advantage of it. So now Jennings back there, very much in the veteran class here. Go three. But nonetheless, a uh, big moment in his career. That look forward, Moses Takarangi. He, oh, well, he's, that is forward. That's gone. Go well, thrown forward, bounced another seven metres forward. He's down too. He's he's go down go injured, go go Brad Takarangi. He, he didn't need to throw that. The, the work had been done already, made some good metres, just needed to take the tackle, and the Eels were off and running. Well, the way things are going for Parramatta at the moment, Brad Arthur might be asking some of those former greats if they're available to come on. Surely. <laughs> I reckon Pricey would have a go. <laughs> Pricey, I bought my boots just in case. I may need them because Daniel Alvaro has failed his HIA. Well, that's not good news, Daniel, but not required by my boy, I don't think. From... <laughs> <laughs> He'll go with Jeff Gerrard ahead of you. And Jeff 60. <laughs> now 12 with it for the Tigers. 29 metres away from the line. Moses Mbai works left, Brooks, then stepping, he's a good player, 
Corey Thompson doesn't need much of a chance. Last tackle, G-Cam. Who does he want to be? He decides to put the kick in. Gutherson watches, watches! Has watched a little too long, almost a hole! Mate, it, he's got the half back there, G-Cam. Moses! A quick restart, Moses on he's Gutherson! Away. Moses away! Hoffman in support! Cover is coming! Not Moses gonna is going to get there! Mitchell Moses! Wow. 20 minute restart. Well, Vossi. Clint Gutherson. It's an amazing moment. Well, Vossi, Michael Cheekamp, the hero last week, he had Luke Brooks on his right calling for the football. He jumped out and kicked the ball dead. Give the ball to your halfback. Here's the kick from Cheekamp, and he did a great job, Clint Gutherson, again, to just shadow the ball. <laughs> Like, Brad Arthur must have been having a heart attack just watching that ball bounce in the in-goal area. He races to the 20-metre line, takes a quick tap. Moses is with him, and Mitchell Moses gets on the inside of Luke Garner. Too quick for Alloy A, and then out sprints Josh Reynolds to the corner. What a way to start the scoring here at the new stadium. Mitchell Moses grabbing that first try. And so many of our viewers not knowing what the, the layout of the stadium is. He is running directly towards the big screen. They're in the corners. So he's running towards the southwestern corner, looking at himself. What a moment. Look at the backdrop to that. Parramatta scoring the first try. Enormous reaction here, and now he has to line up the kick. Some would say Moses would have to get a try over Easter, wouldn't he? But he's got the first one here. <laughs> Very good. He's on a streak of 15 straight, fellas. Missed his first two of the season against Penrith, has since kicked 15, including five from the sideline. There's some pressure after running 80 metres to score. Good luck, Mitchell. Who gets the first goal? Mitchell Moses yeah. will get the first try and the first goal. Great stuff. 6-0 Parramatta. Hannah Hollis down on the sideline. What about that? Vossi, could you hear the roar of the blue and gold army at Bankwest Stadium? Flags, cheers, everyone on their feet. Clint Gutherson in the shop front window creating some magic with Mitchell Moses. I spoke to Mitchell in the preseason. I've not seen him as calm, as mature and as focused as I did then. He said he wants to own this team. He is, and now he's part of history. That's, that's a great record. 16 in a row now. Six in a row from the sideline from Moses. And you wouldn't have him up in your top bracket, I don't think, Matty. That would be fair to say. He just strummed it. Beautiful strike. So the Eels are in front. Manor. The Wooden Spoon Day seeing distant memories right at the moment with the spirit they're playing with, the skill they're playing with. And now a stadium like this to play out on. Already back to the 30 metre line. Tempered somewhat to start the news that Andy brought us. Alvaro won't be back, so they're down a man already. We wait to hear whether Nia Kore will be back. Oh dear, that's not so good. Salmon, oh, oh, I thought he got a hand to it and knocked on for sure. Lane, away, and then Jennings, the, the Jennings trademark shuffle. We have the Jennings brothers opposed today. Robert got four for Souths against Parramatta last year. Had to come in handy today. Very late offload there from Manor. It was touched by the Tigers, so tackle count. We'll start Ooh. again. Go 10! Go 10! Go 10! They're going ten. the blue and gold way at the moment. No. Mm. Cheers, mate. Just a little bit of the tipping action from Brooks is what the officials have foot, acted boys. on there. They're in position oh. for back-to-back -back tries. 30 away. Takarangi fires it across there. Moses then on for Salmon. Roman Salmon oh, in only his 10th game of first grade. Oh, 20 years of age. Came into the side for the 18-year-old Dylan Brown. Now Paulo. Russell and Josh get square. 
Toll was up first, but a little slow coming out of the tackle. Marnie and Moses this time linking up with Manor. He's playing like he's back to his late teens or early 20s. Really good this year, Timmy Manor. Terrapo and Salmon will bring Jennings into the play. Tigers defence will be tested on the goal line again. Salmon, left foot step, and then picked up and driven. Reynolds had him in his sights all along there. Last tackle, Parramatta. Moses to kick again. Look for Takaragi. He's got the leap. Leaping. Brad Takaragi. His dad had the nickname Twinkle Toes. He's got more than just Twinkle Toes. He's got springs in the toes to get up that high. It's been the difference. The kicking game of the Parramatta Eels has been five-star this afternoon. Mitchell Moses again putting it on a dime for that man, Takarini. He nearly scored the first time. He scores the second. The execution, the poise, the composure for Mitchell Moses early on in this game has created another try to the Parramatta Eels. Nice kick. He, he kicked. He kicked for the mismatch. Takarini on Luke Brooks. And Brooks, he needed a step ladder. <laughs> very, very clever from Mitchell Moses. Yeah, great tactics from the Eels. Brooks was able to win that battle the first time he put it there, but not that time. Takarangi up over the top of him and from behind too. And Brooks couldn't even get off the ground. So he's a great target, Takarangi. And they have been impressive with the ball. The, the Eels have put together some terrific sets. They, they look very good. And they've, they've lost near Corey. They've lost Alvaro. We've... We're still waiting to hear whether Nia Corey will be back again, but that has to disrupt the team. But Moses controlling things beautifully. When Moses converts, fellas. We'll show you the Moses Takairangi combination today. Kick for catch, the first one that was almost a try, as well as the one that has been converted into a four pointer today. He is quite a target to kick to. Well, he is a mirror kick of the first one, and Luke Brooks was able to just get his feet off the ground. And that was enough. And then, of course, Mitchell Moses combining with Clint Gutherson to score the first try of the afternoon. The first try here at Bankwest Stadium. And then exactly the same kick as we just saw. Obviously, yeah. a friend, Liam yeah. Brandy. We've talked about that through the week. He's put it above uh, Luke Brooks. Again, and the crowd roars as they get on the back. But Paulo with a hit up again, and the big back and shoulders to hop on as well. There's room for a few. He, no one runs harder in the game than Penny Terrapo. He, he does come off the back fence, Terrapo. Mena follows up. Three tackles, three forwards, back to the 40. Parramatta right on top here. 12 points to nil. Brad's dad, Lewis, as Marnie kicks to the corner. He only played the three games, but he played in the game that Parramatta came back from 22-0 down against Canberra here at Parramatta Stadium. Game that Brett Kenny led the comeback for the Eels in 87. Boys, an update on the Parramatta HIA situation. I've just spoken to the team doctor and the team staff. Murata Niakore, given that extra five minutes because effectively they were double parking the HIAs in the dressing room, he has passed. He will be back. OK, well, that's good news. Andy Raymond with that as Mahe Fanua. Looking to weave a passage downfield there. Yeah, it was off the back of an Nissan Masters offload. No one offloads as often as he does, and he just got the Tigers set, get them in a, a good attacking position for this kick. Last it is, the left foot of Brooks, and it's angled there, and Hoffman batted back in third, it's Gunner's chance. Jennings deliberate bat back, and Hoffman has come up with a, a big ball and all tackle on Garner. It, much better kick there from Luke Brooks. They've really struggled at the start of this game with their fifth tackle options and their execution with their kicks. This is much better. Beautiful, precise kick on the money for Jennings to tap it back and Garner. Like a Hello to the little village of Momai in Fiji. Crowded round your TVs, take your pick. Three TVs to watch the Fox League coverage today. Be proud of your man, Micah 
out here on this stage today. Paulo on to Moyaroa. Brooks there in defence with Packer. But they are eating up the metres today. Parramatta, Paulo, and an offload. Marty has got it turned around, straight down the centre. Oh, Gutherson was in front of Marty all the way. He couldn't pass it to him. Lifted away from the line. Last tackle, Gutherson, Moses. Deflection of Brooks. Moses ahead, a back back. Play on the call. Another set of six to Parramatta. That is all the Eels at the moment. Bossy, the Tigers' middles are uh, really one, struggling. They're one, out in their food at the moment. The Packer was in some trouble there with Marnie. All sorts. Perhaps closing in on a, a third straight try. The Parramatta side. Moses. Quickly along. Look out. Jennings. Look at the footwork. Oh, beautiful. Michael Jennings could go great reps the way he ran there. He's found the way to the end goal and look the flags again. We have again. a try. Want to ensure that there's no obstruction from a player in front of the ball. Only the bunker can take it off them. Now Sean Lane coming through first off Moses. The ball found the ground and then it goes. Does Lane get in the road of anyone? No, he doesn't. He doesn't obstruct anyone. Momentarily, Twell was behind him, but I don't think it affects any chance he had of stopping Sean Michael Lane Jennings. and Alex Twal collide. Alex Twal still has the opportunity to defend. We are playing on. Good decision. Great decision. Common sense. And he's as sharp as ever, Michael Jennings. And there is just, there's not many in the game that can change directions as quickly and, and Michael get the Jennings top grounds speed. The ball. We have a decision. Like Michael Jennings. He, you know, he's at the back end of his career, but still, we just saw an example of it then, just how quick he still is. Brandy, we spoke about before the game the importance in these, in these high energy, big occasions of a, having at least equal share of possession. We have a look at the stats 63% or 64% of the ball now for the Parramatta side. And you can see the toll it's taken on the, the Tigers' middlemen. If the Tigers, if they, the way for the Tigers to get back into this is through their little men coming through the middle. We saw a minute ago with Isan Masters, as you said before, Brandy, with the offloads. They have to dominate the yardage because defensively, the Tigers' big men, they're out on their feet. And what's hurt them is the two seven-tackle sets they've yes, given away right. already. The, the Eels, a little bit of luck there as Moses puts it through. The Eels, a little bit of luck with a six-to-go call that gave them another set, but they have punished the Tigers. But even with that six-to-go play for Mitchell Moses, the energy he showed to get to that ball and tap it back and, and, and compete against Brooks to get the ball back to even be in this position, well, that, that looked like Michael Jennings scoring a try for New South Wales 10 years ago. <laughs> An update on the West Tigers. Just made official. Robbie Farrah won't be back. He has failed his HIA. Wow, well, no Farrah back. No Elvaro for Parramatta on this big day here at Bankwest Stadium. By the way, you know what the score was back in 86? The opening of Parramatta Stadium halftime. 18-6 to Parramatta over St George. They went on to win by 30. Well, Parramatta's already got the 18 here today. Where do you find this stuff, old suit? <laughs> a little bit of history. I'm old enough to have been around then, Matty. It's just in the vault. Oh, That's it. Cross for Terrapo. Daniel Alvaro, if you joined us after the start, it was the first run of the day that uh, he was ruled out. And it, it now makes you go back, and I know people are going to blow up about it. I mean, Madison was penalised for high contact. Alvaro sits out the entire game and uh, no penalty in play for Ryan Madison. An argument to have it another time, how we deal with that. Man of the play at five minutes inside his own half. Again, Moses. Well, Moses, Salmon, Gutherson, Marnie, the spine of Parramatta, spot on today. Thompson back for the Tigers. Penny release! Hold me out! Penny! Penny! Brooks on. And Masters with the ball. Make it here, hold! Go well, to. Does that mean that Moses Embai is stuck as the dummy half for the entire game? Do they have a plan C out there that they want to mix it up? Well, you'd think that they'd have to rotate it sometimes. I don't think Moses could play the remainder of the game 
defending in the middle. I, I think they'd need to rest him for a, for a period. Re Reynolds has played plenty of nine. They could put him in the nine jersey. Now Madison out, and we watch out for a Masters offload. Parramatta know about it. Look at the bodies there. Lane, Jennings, Salmon. Last tackle, Tigers. Reynolds to bomb this time. Again, Jennings out on the wing. Here he is. He catches. He's going to offload. TK with a pickup. One handed offload. Still the last tackle. And then Martellino throws a Wally Lewis pass. Where did that come from? Reynolds puts the kick in. Sebo's back there. Comes up with the ball. But the Tigers from side to side and in the air put on a show. He's away. Now Gutherson. The King. Look who's in support. It's Jennings. What a sight. What a sight. And Bankwest Stadium blue and gold everywhere. And what in particular flashing pasture downfield. Check the calendar, Matty. Is it 1986? Well, I'm not sure. Well, I'll tell you what, Vossi. As we've said the last five minutes, the Tigers are gassed. And you can tell the side's gone when they, in the, in the manner they transitioned from attack to defence. And they just didn't react, the Tigers. Half time can't come quick enough. Well, the Tigers have had very little ball. The, the Eels made some mistakes early in the game, but I think from the 10 minute mark have just about been perfect. So they've offered the Tigers nothing. Clint Gutherson's identification and when to run the football has been a real highlight so far this season. Gutherson running more metres than he ever has and just split them open. But you after the set that they just put together, the Tigers, they were gassed. They had, they had no energy yep. even to get themselves into position defensively. That's what the best sides do. Yeah, what they do, yeah, they, they pour a lot of energy into their attack, but when, it, when the ball turns over, they attack with their defence. And just from where we sit here, you look at the Tigers, the Tigers middlemen and their movement, and they're just out their feet. Wonderful, wonderful shots around this cauldron. I said the wooden spoon, a distant memory. By the way, Michael Jennings for his prolific try scoring deeds. It's 184 matches since he last scored a hat trick. He's got two already here in 27 minutes. Andy Sidelock. One of the real issues Parramatta has identified over the first couple of weeks is their transitioning. What I mean is from defence into attack or vice versa. They've really struggled with the opening pieces of the set. No issues today. Mistakes, early busts, Eels looking great. Yeah, Matty was just talking about the, the lack of possession that the Tigers have had and just how gassed they are. They've scored four tries, the Eels. They've had nine sets in that period of them scoring the four tries and nine it. sets. The Tigers have only had it twice. They've had the ball twice. So they've just been starved of the footy. Tigers are actually completing seven of seven. They haven't got the ball. And they find themselves down 24 nil on the scoreboard. What's the biggest deficit a team has faced without dropping a ball in a match? That I don't have, Matt, I was going to say. <laughs> I don't have that at all. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> Multiple choice. I'll get back to you in August. Now Gutherson with the ball, almost back to the 40. Yeah, he got some good stuff, soon. So now the ball with Tepai Moiroa. Oh, I feel desperately sorry for Daniel Alvaro, Robbie Farron not being able to be a part of this for the rest of the game. The unfortunate injuries part and parcel of the game is now Jennings with it. So he'll play left wing for the rest of the match. Cheekham in the centres. Last week it was Jennings who went off after 21 minutes and Cheekham took his spot in the centres up in Brisbane. This time with Eisenhuth. Five short of halfway and the crowd sort of, it's a bit of a lull at Bankwest Stadium all of a sudden. Tigers fans are stunned and Eels fans happy just to sit back and work out what they're going to have for halftime lunch. Yeah, bossy. The Tigers big men, are, they're being overworked. The outside backs are going to get in there and give them a hand. Last play. Brooks, he's going to run. He's got Garner there. Garner with it. Now the kick. Straight onto the chest of Gutherson. They haven't got much out of their last tackle plays, the Tigers. And that's what's killing them, Vossi. I mean, they're making easy metres. They're completing all their sets, but their, their ends to sets have been poor. And then the Parramatta Eels have turned those into a counter-attack, and they've just been too good, and they're tired on the return. 
So there was another completed set. They're eight of eight in the first half through 29 minutes. You know, Vossi, like completions in this day and age. Here we go again. again. Lay, big, Sean, lay, oh, what yeah. a pass! What a pass to Jamin Salmon! 20 years of age! In front of legends like Kenny, Sterling, Price, Growth. A kid sprints away to score. Parramatta so good, it really is paradise. Beckwith Stadium. They are running right here in the first half, the Parramatta Eels. Again, straight through the middle of the ruck, straight through the tiring forwards of the West Tigers. And this time, it's Sean Lane's turn. Straight through the middle, left arm fend. He's got plenty of work to do. Right arm offload to Simmons. Simmons away. Masters chases, but Simmons too quick. Oh, they're off to a flyer. And, and Braith, we, we just said a minute ago, the Tigers, when they've got possession, they're relying on their big men to cart them forward. Then when the ball spills over, Parramatta are just taking them on through the middle. So that's, that's what we talk about, the big men from the Tigers being overworked. The outside backs have got to get in and give them a hand, but man, Dizzy's had a good season so far, Sean Lane. He's been terrific. Yeah, he's added plenty, hasn't he, to the Eels? Try number five. What did you say that halftime score was back in 1986? 18-6. Oh, we're, we're looking at the full-time score of 36-6 at halftime, the way we're going. You talk about completions too, Vossi. I'm, I'm a believer. It's just not... If you rely just solely on completions, you're going to struggle. It's what you do with the football in this day and age. You just can't... You just can't do nothing with it. You've got to move the op opposition around. Well, it's you been... The, create. The end of six, though, it's been... Yeah. Seven tackles, six. It's been the last one. Kick put on the Gutho's chest. Look at that scoreboard. 30 nil. 30 nil on opening day. Who wrote this script? But just soak in the moment for Jamin Salmon there. 20 years of age. Tenth game of first grade. As a schoolboy, fractured vertebra. Lucky not to be a quadriplegic. He's now playing first grade at Parramatta. He's apparently responsible for the rewriting of the team song, the young fella. Something really? along the way. You for your writer. show, Matt. Or Lennon McCartney. Well, <laughs> or Lennon. Yeah. You, you've moved him along quickly. <laughs> what? what said Fred? <laughs> he didn't want to take that hit up, Seven. You can pull a band out, Matty. He wasn't keen for that one. That was an odd hit up, wasn't it? Jamin <laughs> Salmon took the kick off and then just fell to ground. Surrender. Alex Alex 25 oh, away from their own line. The Eels to by Moroa. Back up and over the 30 metres, continuing to be racked up, made by Parramatta. The difference in running metres. We're, we're, by the end of this set, Parramatta will have run for 600 more metres than the Tigers this afternoon. Takarangi with the ball again. He looked up at Brooks, and he's on just running straight at you, brother. Quick scoop up. Marty Moses control. Takes it out over the sideline. A perfect set to follow up their fifth try of the day. Uh, Half-time, Vossi. It'd be, uh, be interesting to see Michael Maguire. I'd see what he'd have the red head on at the moment, like the Japanese flag. Oh, it's 30 nil. Oh, fuck it's 30 I mean, nil. And... There's a, there's a lot to do, isn't there? Oh. There's a lot to talk about and a lot to do in the second half. Now, I know they haven't come up with the right plays and poor kicking and everything, but when you get beat, in this sort of occasion, when you're 30 nil down at this point, you know, it, it's got to be more than that. And the Eels just showed us why they are 30 nil in front. They, they've, they've really offered the Tigers nothing. Each try they've scored, they've come back and worked it down to this part of the field, forced the Tigers to bring it out of their own end. There's, there's been no errors off the back of points. It's been the perfect, perfect half of football. Well, it's hard to think you'll see much more than one out here from the Tigers there because the energy levels are so low. Martellino with the ball up to the 30. And then Brooks on for Ghana. Was able to bounce away from Paulo at first attempt. They've done well to get within five of halfway, but that's four tackles in the set. Gone all three. <laughs> Twelve cops it. Tackle five. Reynolds to bomb from a long way out. He's got some serious spiral on this. Oh, boy. Gutherson was collared by Thompson. He's knocked on. 
The take was, well, the attempted take was game and brave, but he knew he was just yeah, no going to cop it. The timing, well, it, it couldn't have been better, I think. It was a split second away from being tackled without the ball, but Thompson looks like he's timed it perfectly, forcing the error and giving the Tigers something. The Josh Reynolds air brace. Yeah, really good. Good for his no, he is. It was a really good kick, Matty, because as we've said a few times, the kicking game hasn't been so good. So at least he gave his chasers an opportunity to get to the ball. And Thompson come up with a big play there. They'll, they'll get the ball back. Obviously, Maroa, he's in some trouble. But there wasn't enough of that early, early on. And building pressure on, on Parramatta, making them play, putting some decent kicks in to really trouble the opposition they just couldn't couldn't build any of it it's pricey give me a jersey <laughs> yes is it my telling isn't it like what a player he was ray price he retires they don't win a competition since since 86. yeah well, he was a player what oh, man Competitor on every play. Julian Price. Julian international, Price. international he, he represented New South Wales in uh, rugby union. Did he did he represent Australia in rugby union? I think he did. Yeah. I, I think straight away, boys, let's go. I'll Murata. So this scrum is, is 20 metres out from the line. The Tigers attackers are set up on the 30. Hold and they're both left and right. They go right side. The Masters will try and offer something. He uh, sized up Salmon there, but the big frame of Lane came across. They have to walk away from points or something out of this set. The West Tigers fans. Eisenhuth will play it five away from the line. Moses in by its dummy half. Reynolds and Brooks. Set up was good. Defense is even better. Jennings right there. Got his body in front of Madison. Jennings penalized. The Tigers will go back to the 10. Go. In by with a tap for Brooks. Marcelino, we don't see the offload too often from Ben anymore. And he takes the tackle in front of the sticks. In by with a double pump. Not sure about what the play the ball was, how good it was. Eisenhuth again to play it. 30 0. Tigers desperate for. For a first try of the day, Thompson out to Fanua. He's got a chance. Great tackle. Jennings is all over the place. He's in origin form today, Michael Jennings. The Tigers have another crack. And now Parramatta put up a blue and gold ball. Sivo there with Salmon on Masters. Back for Madison. Brooks dumping it off for 12. The Tigers, that's five up. Have to get a result here. Brooks, oh, he'll kick back towards the post. Look out! Ben Matalino has scored for Game. the Tigers. Last tackle. Have a try, Ash. Just make sure it doesn't contact anyone on the way through there. And that there's no obstruction, mate. Beautiful kick Tigers back on the kick inside. Chases onside. They are onside. Matalina, if he picks Both this Corey ball. Corey Norman up. and Junior Polo are competing for the ball. It's play on. Play on. It'll be a try. Ben Matalino. A little bit of something for half time. Grounds the ball. Nice kick. Have a Brooks. decision. A little hook kick. It's, it's a back great in touch. Inside, Matty. Nice little touch. He's shaped to go left and he kicks back in the opposite direction. Good chase up the middle and he caught the defenders out there from the Tigers. When it came off his foot, I thought oh, he hasn't struck that well enough and that's just going to dribble and it'll be picked up. But it, it beat both those players competing for the ball. Thompson was there, the Parramatta play. They ran past it, and that just opened it up for Madalino. I just thought it might have gone too far, but it's it's done the job, and that's all he needed to do. They needed a result down this end. Only minutes before the halftime break. He's got to try as a Tiger Ben, and over to Isain Masters, who's not quite the same streak as Moses, but he did play... A vital five from five last week. And he's got his first one here. 30 points to six. Four away from half time. Can they get it to 30 to 12 before the break? From there, you've got a platform. You've got something to go from. I know you've conceded the 30 points in the first half. But 30 to 12. If you just focus on the 18 points, the difference, then. You're trying to make the opposition nervous. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I know where you're coming from. <laughs> that would be nice, Fossey, yes. 30 to 12 is better than 30 to 6. 
just got it confirmed from Wallabies coach Michael Checker. Ray Price played seven tests for Australia Rugby Union. Nuffison on the restart. And he pulled back those cameras wide. You see the fans all the way up in the top. So much the blue and gold. Tigers will get their opportunity later in the season to be the home team here. And, and now that you see it, I mean, who wants to play it? I, mean, I think you all do. You know, if you're a Sydney club and you're worried about such and such, come along here to this facility. It's food for thought for the Roosters even. The Tigers 15 metres inside their own half. And uh, Twal will play the entire half again. His work rate high. The pass was marginal. Brooks. Thompson able to push away from Nia Corte. Then offload. This is good. Tigers with Brooks. Offloads causing a little bit of damage. It's one stat at least they do lead Parramatta on today. Reynolds kicking on the last. Sebo's under pressure. Sebo handles it well. Then puts a step on. Come on, Marcus Sprint. Sebo in half speed upfield. Was toying with them, but the crowd was saying, run like the guru. Get moving, son. Well, you said 30 to 12 would have been better. They gave themselves no chance to score a try off the back of that fifth tackle play from Josh Reynolds. The kick was not high enough for his players to get through and compete for the footy. And now they've turned up 50 metres. Moses down that short side. Jesus he's had a half Mitchell Moses. Sign of a quality player when he says, give me the side. And he excels. Marty, who's playing more and more minutes, he's turning into an 80 minute hooker. Reed Marty. And then Salmon. Watch out. Oh, Lane can't handle it. Masters did enough in defence there for the Tigers. Nice line there by uh, Sean Lane. Just passed a little hard from King Gatho. He's had uh, an excep exceptional season, Brandy. Sean Lane. So in the Make early season, here we go, Steve. It's just what happened to Maker there? Right? I don't know. Why, why wasn't he running? I thought he was running in a sand pit for a second. Yeah. I don't know. He was yeah. out in the open. Yeah, this well, <laughs> was I open did I read field. That wrong? No, you did. No, it was bizarre. Oh no, for Noah. Has lost the ball in the first. Moses Takaragi with it for Parramatta. As if they haven't done enough celebrating the first half. Their, their hands are red from clapping, the Parramatta fans. They've got another chance now. Paulo. Back then with Kafusi. Another one of the young brigade getting to experience day one of Bankwest Stadium. Salmon. The Eels chant goes up. It's the real thing here. Moirawa to play it. Five tries to one in this first half. Moses scored the first one. Made a bit of an avalanche. There could be another one on the bounce. Hoffman. It goes over the sideline. They've got support anyway. It would disappoint Brad Arthur because the success the Paramount has had is playing through the Tigers. The last couple of times they've come down here, they're just trying to play around them, get a little bit too sideways. Shot clock still runs, Shot clock still runs. Yeah, Jennings was there anyway, wasn't he? Even if the ball found the mark, the, the Tigers' defence just adjusted nicely. Okay, watch your kick. Watch an early kick here, Bell. Josh Hoffman, who's the replacement for Blake Ferguson. And, you know, no Blake today, but no problems with that. The way they've played. Uh, really looking forward to Nathan Hindmarsh at half time at the uh, desk here. Fox League at Bankwest Stadium. Nathan's feelings about the first 40 minutes, watching all of that unfold. It's great watching him with his admiring public out here. Walking through it. Brooks short here to Garner. Wrestled free of Moses. They only have one more play in the half, the Tigers. You're about to see your first standing ovation at Bankwest Stadium here. For Parramatta, Brooks with a ball. And uh, that is where it will end. What an incredible first 40 at Bankwest Stadium. They have scored five tries, the Parramatta Eels. They were kept scoreless last week by Canberra. But what a devastating way to start here. 
And I say that in the most positive way possible. Devastating for the Tigers. Parramatta, 30. The Tigers, 6. It is just such a genuine rock concert, light show. It, we got to experience it at the opening of the stadium in Perth last year, but it's it certainly adds to the match day experience. I know as a, a father of three boys, I mean, kids are going to love coming along to it. And, and the thing about it is, you look at the stands and there's, there's empty seats. And the reason is, the bar areas below, the hospitality areas, Brandy, are jammed. It is really, it's a special venue. So you can come down and get a drink and get something to eat, and you can still, there is enough room for you to still see the footy while you're lining up doing that, then you can stand around, so. Tell you what, you wouldn't, you wouldn't want to have too many walking down these stairs no. at the end of that. Like, it is, no, that's it. You're it is steep. Uh, look, I, I will say that for games down the track, that if you're not a fan of the two clubs playing, I think you should still come, a, come along and experience this. I yeah. think this is a really comfortable and obviously a great atmosphere to watch rugby league, if you can't watch Fox League, that is. And what about the presence of the stadium in the city here at Paramount? And I agree with you, Vossi. The more clubs, the more games we can have here, the better. Clubs do need to think about whether they use this as their home venue. So, second half to get underway. On your run. Eels in front by 24. You're watching it live on Fox League. Last game of round six. But sensational, some of what we've witnessed. Over five days of rugby league, and best of all, they're only going to have to wait for another two, and we're underway again on Fox League. Tigers outside their 20. Obviously needing to score first here in the second half. In fact, for there to be a miracle, they have to keep Parramatta to zero from this point. Moses in by, and Brooks. Half through there. So no Robbie Farrah, no Daniel Alvaro for the second half. So both interchanges down a man. And last tackle for the Tigers, Corey Thompson. That time found himself a dummy half. Brooks's kick high and ready and willing and able was Hoffman, who was filling in for Blake Ferguson today. And now for Gufferson. Outstanding first half from Clint Gufferson if he hasn't signed off on a new contract yet. Might be looking to add a a few dollars. Another offload from Takarangi gets things going for Parramatta. Again, it's play one, two, and three after a kick to Parramatta. They're taking full advantage of it. Now Moyoroa. Ran straight at Reynolds. The tough afternoon and night continues. Salmon, Palay. They're picking their bodies to run out. Last play, Parramatta. And uh, Paulo, I don't think he'll be the kicker. He passes along to Moses. And they're ready to chase. Hoffman will get up. Hoffman, clean catch, but intercepts. Back away, and Jennings with the ball for the Tigers. Clean as you like there from Josh Hoffman for Parramatta. We are talking about a former New Zealand international coming in for Ferguson. He's, a, he's more than just a handy player. Dana with that run, and three, now Moiro is down. And a little wobbly. And he's run over the top of there by Garner. Let's go down to the sideline. Henna Hollis. Vossi, Brad Arthur at halftime. Pretty happy with that start from the Eels. The challenge now lies in this second half. He wants more of the same. Keep later, the pressure and grind this out. As for the West Tigers, it was a sombre change room for Michael Maguire's men. He said, we don't want to chase points, which may be easier said than done. Instead, focus on defensive structures, okay, tighten them up. Three, and those fifth tackle options, they need to be better. Oh, yeah. This half Go, is three. about execution and building pressure. So the Tigers try scoring with the ball, short of halfway. It's Leno, and now Moses in by, and Reynolds. Lively, Madison, Mahe for Noah will take on Gutherson, who hangs on for dear life right there. 15 from the line. See, they probably could have been penalised there. Last play. Moses in by to kick the left boot. It's shallow. And then fumbled back. Play on for Brooks. Oh, what a pass from Brooks. And then Jennings heavy. And Cement Boots has put it over the dead ball line. 
Well, a miracle ball from Luke Brooks almost provided the Tigers with a, a chance. First it was Reynolds, Madison and Mahe Fanua down this side. There was some cover defence there, so Fanua tried to run over the top of Gutherson then on the last play, Moses M by not a great kick, but almost led to something. Terrific ball from Brooks, but Jennings on the follow-through kick got it all wrong. We're going to get a penalty here, the Tigers. Mitchell, Mitchell, Mitchell. Was he hit late? Yeah, yeah, well, let's have a look. Incredible pass. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I, I think he was a little embarrassed by the kick, and he's just hit the deck. It's, not, it's not an Academy Award, a Golden Globe. <laughs> this, this will show it good, too, exactly. This will be a beauty. When you're behind by 24 points, you've got to, you've got to find something. He tried his hardest. Well, he just might get something out of it. He can't. I think... Come on. <laughs> oh, oh. He's right there, mate. He's all right. Set the foot. Both again down this right-hand side. Junior Paula caught wide. They hit the middle and keep going the same way, the Tigers. Good bit of joy there. They've assessed uh, Tepai Moyaroa too on the video. He's now going off HIA. So he had some... Well, he had five, in fact, in total last year. He's just checking the teeth there. For a visit to the Jennings household tonight. This is a leave for a first grade player. <laughs> Does it count on the salary cap? <laughs> well, Moira is off. The penalty has been confirmed. So the Tigers have it. And uh, here they go. Can they score a second try? Just to uh, make things just a little interesting. Still plenty of time. Reynolds with it, trying to straighten things up for Brooks. Garner's become a go-to man, Brooks. And Thompson thrown down. The little men for the Tigers trying to get something started there. Brooks now, centre field. No shortage of numbers there for Parramatta. Ten from the line, Moses in by. Then Eisenhuth. Reynolds will skirt across field. Thompson! Thompson! a centimetre short, if not a millimetre short, of scoring. Jennings and Lane, the defenders. Reynolds' kick is hard, and Brooks won't get there either. Well, Sean Lane, remarkable job, because Corey Thompson's footwork looked like it was going to be enough to get him into the in-goal area. He's sharp on his feet, playing fullback. But Sean Lane just monstered him and denied him any chance just cut him down short here it is here Jennings assists but Lane does all the work oh, oh that's massive he was over for all money there Thompson by the way that takes the Tigers completion rate to 15 of 16 but there's no icing on the cake for the Tigers today at the end of sets they go down as completed sets <laughs> well short of repeat sets which is what their fans are crying out for Jennings in for Salmon. And uh, the Eels, just like that, find themselves 40 metres out from the Tigers' line. Ray Stone out there taking that run. The boy from Mossvale down Hindy's way. Cross to Takarangi. Quick play the ball. Off they go again, Parramatta. We're talking about the Tigers possibly posting a second try. What about number six for Parramatta? Moses wanted a quick play the ball. Now he's got it. Salmon with it. Already a try scorer. Kick looked pretty good. Kick was really good. And the last line of defence for the Tigers. Only just for Thompson. Now, oh, Mahe Fanua. They want a piece of him. Second tackle. A metre away from their own line. And defenders coming from every angle. Oh, he's through. And somehow Masters got the pass away to Imbai. That was a vital 10 metres to make just then to relieve the pressure. Six into the second half here on Fox League on this Easter Monday. Now Eisenhuth. It's just Tuesday and Wednesday without Rugby League this week. Then into our Anzac Day double. Our privilege to bring both games to you on Fox League. A kick on the full. The Mike Acevo. 
Well, he kicked that on the 40 then, Josh Reynolds, and Sebo's brought it back to the halfway mark. Straight Go 10, to him. Go 10. It's, yeah. been, it's been their Achilles heel today, their kicking game. Sure it has. It, it's just from, from the get go, from their first kick of the game. Well, you saw Braith Friday night, um, Roosters versus Storm. Storm got back into the match on the back of maintaining pressure through their last tackle options. Mm -hmm. And they've been up there quite a bit, the Tigers, who just hadn't been able to manage to get those repeat sets. In fact, they've been giving away seven tackle sets, which just turns the contest. Junior Paulo off, Tim Manor on, and despite all the reshuffling for Parramatta officially, that's just their third interchange of the evening. We had a 30-20 scoreline between these two clubs last year when the Tigers beat the Eels in front of 30,000 fans. This one to keep in the memory bank as Manor on the charge. I reckon a Timmy Manor try to bring the house down here today. Too many in Tim's career. But the most capped deal out there. What a moment would be for him. Moses, what a pass! Well, don't worry about the old front rubber. What about one for Oregon Kafusi? 19 years of age. All of four games under his belt. And Oregon Kafusi has scored another one for Parramatta. And anything poor the Tigers have done, the Eels just have made them pay. The poor kick from Reynolds, the penalty off the back of it, gave the Eels the opportunity to build a set, and they've been able to do it every time. They've been down good end ball. And Kafusi, giant of a youngster, runs a great line. Outside in line, off Moses, who timed the pass perfectly, and he splits them and scores their sixth try of the, the day. Great line. Ran a hard line, didn't he, Braith? He did. Challenged uh, the inside shoulder of Garner. And just their execution, mate. He, Reed Marnie had a dummy half. He throws a bullet 20 metre yeah. pass to Moses. A long pass for a short pass. Kafusi outside in line. Very hard to defend that when you're coming off your line hard. They, they, look, they look slick. They look really slick they and fast. They look decisive in everything they do. Geez, uh, said about the young nine, young, young Mahoney. I tell you, that's the thing I like about. That's the thing. One of the things I like about him is decisiveness. He gives it to his playmakers early, or he goes. He doesn't play mark the ball and fiddle around and take time away from. Him. He's a clever player. So Moses in front. So he came in today with 15 in a row. You can now take it out to 21 straight for Mitchell Moses, having missed his first two of the season. We are now at the scoreline from day one, 1986, at Parramatta Stadium. 36 to 6. There are still 30 minutes to go. The try scorer there, if you've been watching League Life and we've repeated the segment, blocker Steve Roach went out to the giant step school in Sydney at Gladewell, and this young man, Oregon Kafusi, it's a special education school, has befriended one of the young fellas there who just absolutely loves him, and it brings this young fella out when he sees Oregon. Well, you've got, you got a hero to follow, because Oregon Kafusi's a try scorer here today, and well done the Eels, the work they do in conjunction with giant steps in Sydney. It's very much to be admired. 20 metres away from their own line. It's a beautiful story that's greened on Fox League. So Marnie with it, and uh, Stone, they've got some goers, Parramatta, now they're coming into a side that's got confidence and is winning, as opposed to a team winning only six matches in a season. It's a good time to be an eel. And what's more, they've got a clash against Newcastle, the struggling Knights, coming up next Sunday. They'll fancy their chances there. Parramatta on halfway, and if they win here, there'll be only two points off the competition lead. And that uh, bracket of sides on ten points. Another effective set from Parramatta. <laughs> Kicking from 35 metres out. Moses said, do your best with this one. They scream through again. It's come back again. What about another one of the kids scoring on his 21st birthday? Could you have written this any better? Read money. His parents.
Sports we Building of Estonia have invited 30,000 guests and a television network to come along to his party. An and now he scores a try. And just the contest in the air. What a great day for the Eels. Moses throwing up a, another kick that put the Tigers under pressure after a good set. And they have just continued to put good set after good set together Any today. Offside. Parramatta. He is not involved. The ball is knocked backwards from Brad Takarangi and collected by Reid Marnie. Straight into the hands of Reid Marnie. Well, it's been a comprehensive performance from Parramatta. Reid Marnie grounds the ball. We have a decision. Thanks, mate. Cheers. They really haven't put a foot wrong. They, they, they haven't done many things that make you think, well, you know, they're slightly off in this department. They're, everything has worked. And it's off, Matty, it's off the back of it. Moses has controlled the beauty. He has. His last tackle options, his confidence, the way he just pushes the side around the park, and this one, he puts the ball up, makes it a contest. And uh, well done to Marnie. We said before, you know, he, his football is very, very decisive, but the kid's got energy. And that's what you need coming out of number, coming out of dummy half. It's one of the most important focal points in your attack. You've got to have a lively nine. Twenty-one today. Twenty-one. Read my. Yeah. Going to the movies tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what an enormous. Of excellent films on it. Moment in the career of Reed, Reed Marty. Moses will just bang over another one now. Where does this end? There's 28 and a half minutes to go. Parramatta, what a bounce back from last week. This is what we're talking about, the light show at uh, Bankwest Stadium. I can't wait for the next game already. And this is all without Blake Ferguson. I mean, when Blake Ferguson was ruled out at the start of the game, we thought they might be in some trouble here. I mean, he starts their set to six. They've, they've hung their hat on him, really, for the, the start of the season. He's been so good coming out of his own end and coming up with those tries, but it has not been an issue. They have been superb. By the way, the next game at Bankwest Stadium, May 5, you don't reckon Parramatta Dragons will do something special on a Sunday afternoon? Get your tickets. Get your tickets. NRL.com for that one. Parramatta versus the Dragons in a fortnight's time. The Eels with the ball. 25 out from their own line. 42 to 6. Tries to Kafusi and Mani, a couple of the rookies. So who's next up? Is it Ray Stone's turn next? Nia Corey to score. Moses across. We suddenly start looking at biggest ever scores, Parramatta and Tigers. Eels 41 out from their own line. Been a season of progress for the Tigers, but it's a giant step back today. Last tackle here with the Eels, Marnie, Moses, and uh, goes with that spearing kick down for Thompson. And uh, Thompson will be held up. It's funny, Vossi, before the game we spoke to both coaches. I thought Brad Arthur looked up tight. I thought he looked really nervous. And it's the most relaxed I've seen Michael Maguire. Hard to pick. Mahe Fanua with it. There was a paramount hand in there, I thought. And then no signal from the referees. No, no restarting of the tackle count. Masters was well and truly contained at the finish of that. Now for McKayley, Thomas McKayley. On halfway. In by. And the Brooks searching kick for that corner. Gutherson hasn't put a foot wrong today. Oh, oh boy. He went over the top there. To the hip clash. Clint Gutherson. Ooh. Did he collect the point of the elbow? Luke Gunn. He's Gonski, isn't he? Very, very early in the piece. Shoulder. And down it goes. Oh, yeah. Here's the end of Luke Garner's day. Wait, wait, wait. 
while Luke comes from the field. The news from Parramatta, good Tepai Moroa still with three minutes to go, but he has passed his HIA and will return. The Tigers have Russell Packer ready to go back into the play here. Wait, 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 mate, wait. I don't want to come around. Hey, Josh, let us know where you're wanting defensively, mate. The situation let us know where you have to wait for the player to have left the arena, defense. which is going to happen right now. Luke Garner and Packer will come back on. And we'll start with Parramatta back in position. Tepoi Moira, as Andy indicated, has passed that HIA and he's back into the dugout. And that is his, what's here, a, a dugout on the sideline on this uh, western side of the ground. And they have the artificial turf. Oh, I, I guess a, a couple of metres is now Parramatta. There's a broken line there for a moment. Seven tries to one. 42 to six, 26 minutes to go. No sign of the ill stopping. Mena with the ball this time. Rugged as always. Allie with a tackle. Now Hoffman will kick from outside the 40. There's another kicking option. It's a fine kick by Hoffman. And all the chase is right there. He's leading the way. Eels doing everything right here. Pass back for Fanua. A little bit of pressure at the back. But Eels, so much on song here. Now out for Jennings for the Tigers. Monstered by three and four defenders. There's trainers out there for the Tigers. They're trying to get things kick-started. It's hard work. And uh, Stone and Lane and Kapusi there in that tackle continue the aggression of the Eels. Moses Mbai almost through. Was just about to hit top gear there. Another completed set by the Tigers. Reynolds with a kick. It's a good one as well. Reynolds, a trademark Reynolds play. Here he comes. Mike Asimo. He took all the time in the world to get to it. Nice and casual. But Reynolds was half a chance of coming up with a ball on the end of the kick. 17 of 18 now, completion rate, Tigers. Yeah, we saw Moses Zembai, who is still playing dummy half, and I guess that will be the role that he sticks with for the full 80, but we're going to see a, a penalty go to the Eels play. Not many penalties blown in the game, only the sixth of the day. What a set for NRL 360 well, straight after the football today. The backdrop will be Bankwest Stadium to have a discussion on all things today but so much to talk about out of the weekend that that's a dangerous tackle thomas mccaley and he, he they should he should know better than that like i know he's a youngster but you don't pick a player up and put him in that dangerous position then come down with all your weight now jennings is still on the field but it could have been a, a lot nastier than how it ended up another set starts for Parramatta. lane to play it on halfway John Feinegan, a Parramatta player in their 17 who hasn't contributed today. Alvaro, just unfortunate for him, only lasted seconds, but everyone else. They have in their role here. Here is Gutherson poking the nose through again. What a day Clint's having. Jennings, Marnie, and holding it up there for Stone to take a run. Last his second game in the top grade, Ray Stone. And now Moses working with Lane, bumping his way back in field. Still a chance of an offload despite three there. Last tackle, Parramatta. Marnie has a sneaky look short side, goes open for Moses. Moses gets a kick, which doesn't find the end goal. That was good play by Cheekham to cut it off. And now Mena, oh, Thompson. That the manufacturer pass there. Tigers again. I mean, it's one of those situations. Parramatta are attacking with their defence now. Two bosses. Just watch. We get this elevated view up here. Get a really good view and a feel of player movement. Watching Gutherson play. 
He's more than just a fullback, boys. We're watching how he and Moses operate. Moses operates the long side. Gutho just sits and just prowls the short side, particularly down this left hand side, just counting the numbers. I want to tie him up real quick. Reynolds kick. It'll bring Gutho back into it again. More popular players at their clubs in the competition than Clint Gutherson. King. That's it, King Gutho. Hoffman on the run back to halfway. Anzac Day, Dragons and Roosters from the SCG here on Fox League. Warriors in storm. The day it is to present the Rugby League and we'll have it for you again. Just in a few days time. Manor on another run. The old fella. 25 away from the Tigers line. As they're milking at the end of it. Marty Moiroa, Moses kicks. He's got turned around. Here comes Taco Raggy again. And it's forced in goal by Thompson. Made it look cool. Plenty of Tigers were nervous watching. It's been total domination from the Parramatta Eels. And, and this is an example of that again. He just, he's got time. It's a beautiful kick. He's executed these kicks throughout this evening and has been spot on. The chase again comes through Takarangi has been a target and just just too much pressure on the Tigers that they, they could barely turn around and chase they're so tired they're out in their feet Paulo comes back onto the field Tigers go short they go short and long lay well a penalty in front of the posts you can have to gift two or you can start to move a little closer to 50 with four or six, because I think they cracked the Tigers here, don't they? Well, they're on the ropes. It was a boxing match. They'll be wobbling on the ropes, the Tigers, Lossie. Marnie will take the tap. And the first run is with Tepai Moyoroa. So seven tries, six different try scorers for Parramatta. They get that wrong. Stone went through, did it interfere with a defender. No penalty blown. Moses cross to Vic Paulo. Offload bounced down onto the ground. Gutherson unleashes the RCB. The village of Mumbai has gone up. They're all getting tries. And Micah Sebo. What an incredible story! And he scores a try on game one, day one at Bank West. Have a look at that. Well, they decided to take the tap off the penalty centre field, and Clint Gutherson threw a long ball, but Sebo still had plenty of work to do. Just drops it out the back. The King picks it up and throws a long one, and Sebo had the wrong foot. Mahe for Noor and slide on the, the inside of Isam Masters. We thought that the Tigers were going to be lucky to hang on through this set. And midway through it, the Eels score their seventh, eighth. What are they up to? How many tries have they scored? It's, I've lost count. Five of the first, it's eight. <laughs> it's eight tries. This, like you mentioned, Brennan, this isn't easy, but from Sivo, he makes it look so easy. He glides across field with that left foot step and covers about two or three metres, gets on the inside of Fanua. Plenty of work to be done, and he just made good, it look so easy. How many good Fijians in the game? But, yeah, now, incredible, man. Incredible. Well, well, I made the comment a weeks back. Nines. I know we've got the world nines here, yeah. but if we had a World Cup for Rugby League that only had wingers, Fiji would be the champions. Let's listen <laughs> down. <laughs> let's do it. Well, this is Moses again, the streak. 22 straight. Another one, or you can call it a sideline conversion attempt. What do you reckon, guys? In or out, Matty? Back in here. Back in here. Nice. Let's go. It's a man who's never kicked the game as well. There we go. Moses oh. is spraying it. Oh. No curl on oh. it at all. 46 to 6. So, NRL 360, Ben and Kenny live from Bankwest Stadium tonight, straight after this one. All the post match here from here but but so much to discuss out of round six teams in trouble 
Both teams on the climb. The Raiders still going. The Roosters now five in a row. Ready to take on the Dragons, who've won four in a row on Anzac Day here on Fox League. Great show coming up tonight, NRL 360. And uh, Brooks goes deep. I don't know, look, Parramatta fans obviously had the high hopes today, but they were coming off 19-0 defeat at the hands of the Raiders. Could anyone have predicted 46-6? And we know where they're finishing, it's 17 and a half to go. 60 is not out of the question. Now tip by Moya Roller. He's lost it. No, stripped. They've just dominated the centre field. They've just... Uh, they've absolutely... They've just taken apart the Tigers right through the centre. Beat them in the yardish game. Well, I, well, I will say this. I, I will say that no side has ever completed at 95% as the Tigers have done and been beaten by 40. I, I reckon that's a first for rugby league. I don't think you want to have it, but I think they've got it. Seven at Crossfield there. One drop ball from the Tigers today. But if you want to counter that, line breaks, Parramatta nine, Tigers one. Heels 30 metres away from the line, Paulo. And then Lane, quick hands. Was there, a, there was a Tigers hand in there. Sebo spinning, he's lost it back. Tigers then knock on. No advantage on the play, so Parramatta will get a scrum feed. Well, see, it's a good point you, you make, but with the completion rate, 95% completions, they've only made one line break. In the last four weeks, they've only averaged 11 points a game. The first two ga games of the season, the Tigers scored 54 points. Robbie Farrar, three try assists, three tries. Luke Brooks come up with three try assists in those first two games. The last four games, they've only averaged 11 points. Four, four, three of those tries have been kicks from, from Reynolds. Have a look at some of the sides this weekend, both. I think we're seeing a change in the game. Sides are going for a lot more creativity, and it's coming out in the number 13, Cameron Murray, rather than having a yardage 13 in the Tamalolo mode. We see Victor at the start of the year in 13, he'll go back to there. Mate Bateman, who's plays with a 13. They're going for more creativity. You've got to score points to win. And take a little risk. Exactly, both. Marty to Moiroa, Kaylee there with Packer. LEA, Parramatta fans don't want this to end. Moses, Paulo, here they come up on Gutherson. Ball back, tackle count restarts again. Paulo went back to his rugby days at Oakley there and passed. Eight metres away from the line. Marty out of dummy half. And then Salmon, well, he sat down for a moment. We'll play it ten metres away from the line. They have scored eight tries. Is there a ninth here? Stone. Ray Stone is close to the line. Reynolds got over the top there. Thompson as well. Heels with plenty of tackles left up there. Sleeve. Try one with a big fella. Paulo. And again, Thompson there and Madison. And Reynolds looking very weary. Cross with Salmon. Moses. Keeps pushing along. Gutherson. They couldn't find Takarangi that time. Moses up there. He's had a huge game, the, the number four for Parramatta. Here he is, a dummy half. Moses, Tepai Moiroa, backing his way into the defence. At 46 to 6. 14 and a half to go. Seven to lane! Jamin Salmon! They don't reject passes like that. What a try to Sean Lane. 50. 50 at Beckwest Stadium, game one. Well, they've just they've pulled them apart every way this afternoon, the Eels. This one a short ball. Jamin Salmon's had some good touches throughout the match. Sean Lane, been a revelation on the, the edge for the Eels this year. It's been a great signing. Great hole, great line, and nicely delivered pass from Jamin Salmon. It's it before the game, Brandy. Like, at the start of the year, young Dylan Brown got a lot of raps. Short lane didn't get quite as many, but he had a big... He was one of the big reasons why these young sixes have come in and been able to play so well. As playmakers, you rely on edge back rowers to run angles, run shapes. And Lane has been superb at that for his young playmakers. Lane, Paulo, 
Moiroa Mana, all well over 100 metres run today, Parramatta forwards. And by the way, those following Fox Sports Lab and other statisticians, we know that no team has ever won a competition, winning only one of their first six matches, so Broncos, Knights, Bulldogs would have to defy history to go on and win the competition. But no team has ever won a competition conceding 50 points in a regular season match either. So Tigers have just historically, statistically, written themselves off this afternoon. They've effectively just wiped out half the property. <laughs> statistically, no one will win. <laughs> Great Steve Edge, Ray Price. They'll be enjoying this afternoon and early evening now. Back in 2001, Matty conceded 49 in a game and went on to win. That's the highest tally conceded in a game by a Premier in a regular they, season match. I think they might have been without their half back that night. Tigers on the restart of play. So the Moses streak has ended. He's now on a streak of two misses. The last time he got two misses, he went on kick his next 22. So where, it might be again, good. Where do you get this stuff? It might be good. Parramatta. Stone has the ball again. What a good uh, contribution he's made today, Ray Stone, bringing his aggression from under-20s football to this level. Now Kafusi to play it. Marnie. And uh, Moses this time serving up short to... Penny Terapo, 12 minutes to go, and Parramatta dominate possession, look out. Last tackle play just inside the Tigers half, it's been a, a rather boring set I suppose in context of the rest of the game, it's not boring when you put it over the sideline and make the Tigers have to feed a scrum, 10 out from their own line, but there's Parramatta fans around me, they just want more tries and more tries. But what a turnaround for Mitchell Moses. I mean, he copped it last year. He copped it. I remember calling a couple of his games late in the season. His kicking game was horrendous. It really was. He was struggling enormously with his kicking game. His game management was poor. And the turnaround. Mate, this says a lot about having one primary playmaker on the field. And the other and the other guy, the weather was the six or whatever, compliments what he does. Last year, Norman and Moses, they fought for the football non-stop. This year, the ball goes to where it needs to go. The difference here in run metres. Massive difference. Ten line breaks to one. Enormous difference in the run metres. Almost 700. Almost 800 metres. Tigers with the ball. I mentioned Parramatta with a date up in Newcastle next Sunday. Tigers to take on... The Titans out at Tamworth on our Super Saturday next weekend. They have a bit of uh, work to make up. The A to play at five metres inside halfway. Their lone try late in the first half. We thought maybe a trigger of, uh, of uh, something to happen, but it's all gone wrong. Mahi for Nua put a left foot to that. Gutherson, his first thought was, well, how can I get up the other end of the field straight away? And, and Braith, well done to young Jaden Salmon as well. He, he deserves credit because he doesn't overplay his hand. He lets Moses take control and dominate. And he and Gutho just chip away and compliment what, what Moses does and creates. Yeah, that's not the takeaway either from Mo Moses. has always had it. He's always been a special talent. Coming through the grades, he was the man. He was one of the best players that have come through the lower grades of any club. It's just a matter of time. He's found it. I reckon he's one of the most <laughs> confident. Yeah. Board, board, he's got that. Oh. He's got healthy arrogance, put it that way. I've rarely met a player with more confidence than Mitchell Moses. You need a little bit of arrogance, but don't you, Matty? To be one of the best, you need a little bit of arrogance. Sure do. RL 360 to follow straight away after this one. Nine minutes to go here on Fox League. The coverage of this first match at Bankwest Stadium and the Tigers. And no celebration for them. And now, Mahi Fanil with the ball, but they're going to call it forward. It was very untidy there. 
And uh, intensity gone out of the match in the last few minutes. Yeah, they, they haven't had many opportunities, the Tigers. There was a there was a slight opening there for them to do something, and ACM Masters just ran the wrong line. Stayed on, stayed tight. He, he had have drifted out. Do you think they keep the same spine moving forward, the Tigers? I don't, I don't know whether we can really look at it. They lost Robbie Farris so early yeah, in the game. Yeah. Now, that you know that doesn't go away really to explaining the score this afternoon. But, you know, it has made it hard for them, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah. Shuffling. They lost him pretty early. But, All right, boys, let's go. you know, there's got to be some pressure. Benji, if Benji's fit, there's got to be some pressure to have him back in the side. Well, they played their best two games of the season with Benji in with rounds one and two. Come on, Bolin. And then, and well, if you think that Benji comes in, then where, where do you find a spot for Josh Reynolds? Can you find a spot for Josh Reynolds? There's a headache there. There's a headache there. 66 to 12 in 2001. Biggest win by Parramatta over the West Tigers, and that was done on the, the hallowed turf of Leichhardt. One of those rampant wins for the Eels back in 01 as they went on to be minor premiers. Now, the Stone. He just looks like the classic mould middle forward that we've got coming through at the moment. The Radley type, the, the Murray type, the Bateman type. Great name, Ray Stone. Good to have you back, Matty, in the box. And then back for Jennings. Oh, he's chasing down a hat trick. He's thrown it three metres forward. And I don't think even the most ardent fan with one blue eye and one gold eye could say no to that. He got on him quick. Didn't he? You just watch fullback. Corey Thompson needed to come forward. Jennings has been dangerous this afternoon. A few opportunities that he's had. He's, he's hurt the, the, the Tigers. Seven minutes to go. And uh, no hurry with the scrum packing down. Straight after this, our line-up of programs through the week. And a reminder, Anzac Day, both afternoon and night football here on Fox League with Dragons and Roosters, two teams on winning streaks doing battle. And then uh, the Warriors and Melbourne on Thursday night. He is the man who scored the, the one try for the Tigers, and there's a little bit of luck in that. Now Brooks offloading, but the defence all over that. Moses there with Terrapo. Now one-headed scoop. Moses in by, wants Brooks down that left side. They've turned it over. But the Tigers have gone from completing set after set after set to bombing their last two chances in possession. Brooks got on the outside and dragged in Takarangi, but Hoffman was very good. Come, came in off the wing. He left his wing and left some space, but when you come in, you've got to make the stop, and he did. The Eels have got all their players on the open side here, 30 metres away from the line. It's been such a day with... Young fellas like Oregon Kafusi and Reed Marnie scoring tries. Mitchell Moses will go down in the, the record book of scoring the first NRL try here at Bankwest. I say NRL try because Bevan French scored in the Canterbury Cup earlier today for Wentworthville. He actually scored the first try in the stadium. Now Moses back inside. And what a try it was, Voss, to kick off proceedings for the new stadium. 70 metre, 80 metre effort. Gutherson and Moses combining as now he gets the ball back into Kafusi, who drags the Tigers still going. Good 10 metres post contact. Reed Marty, Moses runs the back of Marty, then back to oh, kick it through by Salmon. That was pretty clever. It's good work from Thompson there at the back. He showed plenty of energy this afternoon to beat the side. He has. Oh, has it? Oh, oh. That's big. Paulo coming across there. 
that was some shot on Usan Masters at the finish, who'd been elusive and jumping around. Well, look at the energy from Parramatta. There's only four minutes to go. They're up by 44 points, and they're still coming up with hits like this. 120 kilos plus coming at speed. And you saw it in the last second. That would be a pretty ugly moment. Brooks kicks from the 40 yards wide. The Parramatta fans go up again. It's an unhappy day for the Tigers. Have a look at the reaction to a kick out on the fall. The roller coaster ride of rugby league. Just get on board and hold on for dear life because it's the, the ups and downs. I mean, the, this guy was invincible for the first two rounds. And he comes up with an absolute shocker here, Brooksy. It's not good. Just one of those nights. One of those afternoons where nothing has gone wrong. They, they just haven't been in the contest. They haven't been anywhere near it. The chant is up again at Bankwest Stadium. You can come here again in two weeks' time when Parramatta take on the Dragons. In a Sunday afternoon game. Manor with another quick play to ball. Ball knocked out of Marty's hands. Knock on both ways there. Tigers will get a scrum feed. Three to go. Maybe only one more chance for Parramatta to have the ball. There he was. Collected by Toledo. But uh, he continues to graduate as a talent. Reed Marty, try scorer today. Top of the tackle count with 33. He's had nine runs of the footy. Very handy player. Make sure you're all the way in, Clint. Moses, tighter, please. Watch short side, Bucky. And Reynolds with the scrum feed and the Tigers. Good, well, I think they'd be happy for the siren to sound now. Junior, I'm sure they can gain much in the there. last two and a half. Go one, shorten a bit. Tide men out there, they've done a lot of chasing. Madison Oregon, almost back up to halfway. Go, two. Now Moses in by, and on with McKayley. Tim, don't work him now. There's Manor over the top oh. with Marnie, another Go tackle. In by. It's a little on, and uh, Brooks was just, well, they were just waiting for him. Moses was there. Hold now. To Go really, truly wrap him up. Tigers continuing just to chip away Go down the centre. Their fans were hoping for a trick shot. They're not going to see it. Reynolds with a kick. Was hard off the boot. Gutherson pulled the hands away, now he's over here, and it will go Wait. dead. Come quick, Bucky. See, they've been good at that this middle. afternoon and haven't had to do it much Zero. for the last 60 or 70 minutes. Quick tap, that, that's how they scored their first try, wasn't it? Gutherson off a seven tackle set, took a quick tap and put Moses away. This time Zero. picks up Jennings, they make 20 metres. But Gutherson has been outstanding at shadowing the ball across the dead ball line. That was their third seven tackle set. Kaylee could have only just got okay, been ruled onside one. to make the tackle on Jennings. Now, Sivo is down, but they're going to continue play. And again, they're back three. three. The ball, They've bring been in. enormous. Well, they're back Crip. five. Gutherson, 168 metres. Sivo, 169 metres. Jennings, 154 metres. Takarangi, not usually known for his metres, has run 96 metres. And Hoffman, who's come in for Ferguson, has run 115 metres. It's no coincidence that those guys are high in the metres game. And it's, it's really helped their forwards. Well, every run has been with purpose. Great intent from Parramatta. Terrapo highlights that. But Mena, Paulo, Kafusi off the bench. Ray Stone, what he's contributed. They're all working off the same page, Parramatta. And now they're thinking field goal. Moses. The first field goal at Bankway Stadium. He's trying to get the box set. The first try, the first goal, the first field goal. Mitchell Moses at Bankway Stadium for 51 to 6. It's been his afternoon. It'll, it'll be a game he'll never forget, Mitchell Moses. He's been the Eels' best. He's controlled the, the game out there tonight. It's been a real masterclass from the number seven that has his critics, but has started 2019 in good fashion. It's win number four for the Eels. Four from six. That's a lot better than many expected. 
It's four more than last year. The fans are saying, can they open a new stadium every week? 36 to 6 it was at Parramatta Stadium 1986. And now 51 to 6 in 2019 at Bank West. Nine tries to one. And one last crack at them. Why not? Out to Takai Ruggi. He won't die wondering. He loses the ball. He was in Mitch too. Mitch Moses was in the, on the inside. So no try number 10. But gee, you're a greedy lot if you're disappointed at missing out there. What a day for Rugby League. A new stadium is opened. And Parramatta turned it into quite the party. Nine tries to one. One of their biggest ever wins over the West Tigers. At full time. Parramatta, 51. The West Tigers, six. From the fabulous Bank West Stadium.